We'll need a chain. We'll need a 6 millimeter hook. We'll need a darning needle. We'll need a stitch marker. We'll need this tassel ring. Shirt yarn. Yeah, I'm using Obi ribbon. I'm going to be using two of this, but a 700 gram of t shirt yarn will be okay for this project. And also, we'll need our O rings. You're going to be leaving about 40 inches long of yarn, and then the remaining part is called a working yarn. And then you place it like this. Now, this is your working yarn. You place it like this. You see this this one, this short one here is facing you right now. And you are going to take your working yarn. And you are going to take your working yarn like this. And then you place your hook, as you can see in the video, and you call it up. Immediately you call it up, you take your working yarn like this and you chain one. Just like this now you make single crochets into the rings here one two three four five now after doing the five single crochets you are going to be counting how many braids you have here we have one two three four five braids make sure you have five braids the next thing you are going to do is to take this short yarn here and pull tight you pull very tight very very tight in order not to have a hole in your circle and then to round up this row, you frog the last one and you pull up the loop with the short with the short yarn. You place your hook here and then this is the first braid and then you pull your yarn. We are working with the short yarn now. This is how to close row one. And then there's this place here on your yarn, on your project. There's this place here. You place your hook and like this, just as seen in the video. That's why it's a video tutorial. We pull it up now we've come to the end of row one now if you count we have one two three four five six braid now that we can work with and we take our working yarn that's the long one and we place our hook into a thick where two stitches meet the center of it is called a thick so you are going to be placing your your hook inside the center of the tick and when it's coming out you make sure it's coming out in the center of two ropes like give space for this as you can see it's coming out of two ropes not the other way around and then you pull up your yarn and you chain one you're going to be making another single crochet on that same place. You go to the next one where this one and where these two meet, the center of it is called a thick. And then you place your, your hook. Make sure it's coming out from the center of two yarn. You see that the first place it came out from was wrong. If it comes out like this, it's wrong. But if it comes out the center of the two here and here, you are right. And then you pull up the loop and make a single crochet. And on that same stick, you make another single crochet. 
you go to the next one where this two meet the center is called a thick you make sure it's coming out from the center here you make a single crochet and you go to the next one you make a single crochet now you repeat the same thing again you make a single crochet now you go to the next one again you make sure it's coming out from the center of two yarn Now this is the last one. Make sure it's coming out from two center of two yarn, and then you make a single crochet. You make another single crochet. So these are it is. Now for the last one to close this row, we frog. The last stitch, and then we make we take the short row and we pull up, and then we take it to just like we close the row one, like this. And then you place your hook like this. Now in total we are supposed to be adding 12 braids. Now let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 braids. Now you go to the closest stitch to your working thread which is just this one here. And then you make one single crochet and then you go to the next one and you make a single crochet and then in that same one you make another single crochet then you go to the next one again you make a single crochet and then the next one you make Two single crochet on the stitch now to the next one you make one single crochet and then to the next one you make two single crochet now you continue this sequence and I'll meet you at the end of the room the last one is supposed to be ending with two single crochet on the last stitch now as we normally do you frog the last one you take your the short yarn and then you pull off the loop with the short yarn now we close as we normally do notice where my yarn is coming from now if you want to know if you are on the right track you count your braids if it gives you 18 that means you are on the right track each row makes an increase of six so the next row we are going to be doing will be 18 plus 6 which will give us 24. now this is how to make the the next row okay and we chain one on this stitch here there are two um single crochets in one stitch down here i'm not going to be making an increase in this stitch we are going to be making an increase in the one that is standing alone we just make a chain one and then we make another single crochet 
Now on this one that is standing alone, we make two single crochet on that same stitch. Now we go to the next one, make one single crochet because the two the two of them are joined together. This is one of the secrets to have a perfect um, circle. Okay, so make two. Now we go to this one that's two here. We make one, one here. And then for this one that is standing alone, we make two single crochet on that stitch now we are only going to be making an increase in the stitch that is standing alone so you repeat this process and I will meet you at the end of this row now this is the last one here this one is standing alone so we are going to be making two single crochets From the last one and now to close this row four I'm going to do as we normally do again can see they are all the same if you count your braids it's supposed to be giving you 24 make sure you count now for row 5 take our working thread and we go through the stitch that is very close to our working thread which is this one you can choose any stitch but in order to be not to be having this cross this was a mistake from my own end. In order not to be having this type of cross, we'll just be working with the closest stitch to our working thread. Place our hook here and okay, like this. Now we'll chain one as we used to do. Now, as you can see, this stitches here they are together we are not going to be making an increase here we are just going to be making a single crochet on that stitch so we'll go to the next one another single crochet and then we'll go to the next one another single crochet now on the last one here that is standing alone you make an increase Now you do this and I will meet you at the end of this row. Now this is the last row. And I am going to be making two single crochet on the last one. So this is how our circle is looking. So I'm going to be showing you this um, step for the last time. I'll explain the sequence or the formula and also achieve a perfect circle. In the closest stitch, you could set your hook there and you make a chain stitch. And then you go to the next one. You make sure your yarn is coming out from the center. Okay, we'll go to the next one again. Now 
now this is four um single crochet now the fifth one you make an increase so here is how the finished look is so here we started with an increase with one and then here we did we, we increased by two and then this one here we increased by three and then this one here we increased by four and then this one here we increased by five and then this one here we increased by six the most important thing is how to know where to put your your hook when making the increase like i explained that you are to put your increase on the last single crochet so to get a perfect circle now moving further i'm going to be showing you how to make the base the side here so we are going to be placing our working yarn here make a chain one and then you go to this next point and make a single crochet please take note where I'm putting my I'm placing my hook here yeah. make a single crochet place your hook there make a single crochet place your hook here and you make a single crochet so we are going to be continuing like that and then i'll meet you at the end of this row this is the last one here so you remember how we do join our circle we repeat the same thing Then here place our hook to the stitch closest to the working trip. Set our hook into the next stick. But this explained how thick he is. So make sure your yarn is coming out from this point here. And then you continue like like that for each stitch. And I'll also meet you on how to join. We've come to the end of this row here and this is the last one so you repeat the same process so this is the last row You repeat row two and I'll meet you at the end of row three. So we've come to the end of row three and this is how it's looking. This is the second half. You repeat this exact same thing you did here on the second half. So now how to join both of them. Now for the first one, you're just going to um cut out the yarn for the first one and you just need to just tie and when you tie you use your lighter to gum or you use a candle gum because a um, t-shirt yarn uh, works more with candle gum so you use uh, a candle gum to gum them together just to secure the end and yeah and to how to join the boats of them together 
watch where I'm placing my hook here. And then we take the second half and watch where I'm placing my hook here. I'm gonna make a slip knot. Then we go to the next one. Slip knots and go to the next one here and to the next one there. And then you make a slip knot. So we are going to be repeating this until we get to um, our desired space, the desired space that we want. So this is um, a little trick on how to know when to stop making your slip stitches. You measure your bag around like this. The circumference of this bag is 24 so we are going to be making a diameter that is half of this um, bag so you're going to be stopping at 12 so after that has been done you cut your yarn out and you weave in I can just show you roughly how I weave in my ends I just tied my knot here so that's okay if you ask me and then I'll just spawn the so you pick your o-rings and you place it here just like this okay yeah very good so we are going to be cutting out all of this where I'm later on um I'll analyze on all of that. So, and I'll place our. So, you make a ring of yarns just like this. You can use your leg to do that, or you attach it to something and roll it. After you might have done that, you cut your. Cut it into two like this, and you place it just like I seen in the video. Place it here like this just like this and we cut it out note the this um the length of this one here must be longer than our tassel itself so you place it like this and you place it on the center hope i'm seeing what i'm doing the center of the ropes and the tie so you're going to make sure that everything aligns together as you can see it does not align together so you just have to call it back okay so this aligns because I'm 
teaching that is why everything is kind of disorganized but my own i'll just do this thing sharp sharp okay so yeah this is where we tied we are going to be tied twice tightly okay so that's it But I've done that so you place your oak like this and you call it up and that's it after we might have done everything we are going to place our tassel ring holder on on our bag it adds beauty to it as you can see I'm going to be placing your yarn on your darning needle and place your chain like this straight and flat then you start from the second one and you start and sewing the chain as seen in the video one thing you should make sure of is that your your chain should be flat flat So this is what I mean by the chain should be flat so it won't wrinkle so we continue the process like this so you repeat that for all the chain and I'll meet you at the end and how to round it off so this is the end of it so remove your darning needle and you cut out your yarn now you bond the edges after you bond the edges you comb it to the previous thread like this then you fit that for the other side oh for on how to um, line and add a zipper on my previous video I've already thought extensively on that on how to line and add a zipper to a round crochet bag do well to watch that in order to give this bag a finished look this is how I rocked it when I went to the beach and I love the feeling so this bag is very very good to use it for the beach or just some casual outing like it makes real sense so we've come to the end of this tutorial and i hope you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel in order not to miss out on content like this when you've done yours i also love to see the snaps on your social media so tag me in any of your social media and whenever you've done yours so I will see you next time, right? Bye! So